The Mundari are a small ethnic group of South Sudan and part of the Karo people, one of the Nilotic tribes of South Sudan. The Karo group is composed of cattle herders and agriculturalists. Other Karo tribes apart from the Mundari are Bari, Pojulu, Kakwa, Kuku and Inyangwara. As we continue with this video, kindly subscribe to our channel if you are new here. Also turn on our notification bell to always get notified each time we drop a video. Stay tuned. The Mundari, like other Nilotic tribes, are very cattle oriented. Cattle serves as food, a form of currency and a mark of status. They live in symbiosis with their cattle and nothing is more important for them than their cows. Offer money to a Mundari man and he will tell you to bring a cow instead. In Mundari, marriages are arranged by the prospective groom offering cattle to the bride's family and husbands are allowed to take as many wives as they can cater for. Mundari men have this odd yet interesting culture where they bath their hair in cow urine giving it a yellow-orange color. In common with other Nilotic tribes in Sudan, the Mundari practice ritual scarification as a rite of passage into adulthood for young men. The typical Mundari scar pattern consists of two sets of three parallel lines, each on either side of the forehead, extending in a downward slope and converging in the middle. In the Mundari cattle camps, Kids collect the fresh cow dung and put it into piles which are then set on fire. Those fires are useful as they repel the numerous and voracious flies and mosquitoes of the South Sudanese countryside. The Mundari also use the ash created by these fires to rub on themselves and their cattle, creating a protection against mosquitoes. Their cattle are sent off for grazing all day long and come back to the camp before they fall when they are clean and tied to poles. The young kids sleep with cows as well as guardians, which are often armed with AK-47s. Mundari men have to go through a rite of initiation where all the initiates live together and spend three months with a village elder away from the community. During that time, they must live in nature and stay naked. Once their initiation is finished, they can kill a cow and they can therefore be referred to as men. Mundari take up wrestling as a serious hobby from a very young age. Every day, the young Mundari organize wrestling competitions and the best ones keep going at it until they are too old for it, with some clowns having some countryside heroes. The traditional Mundari tribal lands are located roughly 75 kilometers north of Juba, the capital of South Sudan and are centered on the town of Terekeka in the state of central Equatoria. Their lands are bounded on the east by the White Nile and extend west to Laka Madi in western Equatorial state, an area roughly 100 by 75 kilometers in size. The land, like much of South Sudan, is predominantly flat and marked by occasional isolated large hills. The low-lying lands contains many rivers and lakes and is prone to flooding during rainy season. The soil is predominantly clay-based, causing drainage and water retention problems and provides a very fertile basis in support of cattle grazing. The main settlements in Mundari land are Terekika, Gimaiza, Mangala, Muni, Tombe, Tindalo, Tali, Rego, Tijo, Rijong, Koweri and Inyori. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you've not done that yet. Turn on our notification to always get notified each time we drop a video. Thanks for watching.